bit bright, sorry. Um, Seeing this cool uh, free car park last night. Um, I'll put the uh, address up. Uh, it's not far from the Zermatt um, or the Glacier. It's cool because it's got water point and uh, wastewater disposal as well for um, mode home, so it's pretty rare in Switzerland. There's this um, giant eagle up here as well, just above it, which um, was a bit of a shock this morning when I got up and saw it. It's um, pretty big. Uh, I assume it's something from the war, is uh, looking by the date on it as well. Uh, it's a cool spot anyway, very scenic. <coughs> Got a nice mountain range here and nice uh, range here, which you can't probably see very well on the phone, but um, it's really nice. If you've got the sun to hit that, you get some nice pictures um, of that. They probably do something with the eagle as well with um, some astro stuff. Uh, the weather actually has improved. It's meant to be raining midday in Zermatt, but getting better. Uh, but I've looked at the the ticket price and it's um, about 110 francs to go. Um, you can actually get a train from Tash to um, Gothenburg, I think. I'll put down the correct spelling. Um, which is then a 10 minute walk to Lake Riffelsey, which is where you get a nice view of the Matterhorn and reflections. But it's a lot of money just to go to one lake and back and then I'd, I'd have to camp up there. You can actually get a train from Tash to Zermatt, which you have to do for uh, about 20, 30 francs return. So it's pretty reasonable. So um, if I had a few more days or if I was here with friends and family or partner or something like that, I'd. Um, I'd go to Zermatt and spend a few days there, but just to get a train to go to a lake for one night um, when it potentially could be overcast anyway, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna get the cable cart instead from Friesch, I think that's how you pronounce it, up to um, Eggishorn, which is a mountain which looks over the glacier. So that's, um, you gotta get a gondola up there, but it's only about 45 francs return. So um, unfortunately, it doesn't come back late enough for um, sunset, but um, you sh I should get some nice shots up anyway. The light should, the, the sun should just be low enough um, before I get back to get a nice shot. So I'm gonna make my way up there now. I made it up to the glacier, it's called the Altech Glacier. It's the 
largest one um, on Europe, or sorry, in, on the Alps. It's 23 kilometres wide, so. Um, I made a schoolboy error, I bought the drone, um, left the cable in the van, so luckily, there's quite a few people here in one of these um, other photographers down there who had a USB cable, a micro USB cable, which was literally about that long, just made it. So I've got um, two sets of footage of the drone going over already. I went quite low. Um, it's an awesome sight, but you're so high up, it's hard to kind of fathom how big it is. It's over a kilometre wide, but if you look at it now, it looks about the size of a virtual carriageway or something, but give a look. So it's an awesome sight, but um, it doesn't look like we're very high, but I took the drone down and it went down uh, 600 metres and it still wasn't um, anywhere near the bottom. So we're a good seven, 800 metres up, I think. And when you get right down on it, these um, black rings that you should see in the photo, I mean, they look absolutely huge. So uh, it's um, very deceiving how big it actually is. Um, I'm perched on this rock at the moment which is uh, on the edge, it's quite stable, I've tested it. So um, just getting some selfie style kind of hiking shots. Um, taking a few shots that way, looking down the, the glacier as well and um, probably have to call it quits. So uh, I'll get a few more shots in. Um, I've got to get the cable cart back in about 25 minutes. So there's not a great deal of time. I left it a bit late coming up here really. Um, that peak there is the Eggers Horn. That's, um, Kind of the peak of uh, uh, where this cable tar cart takes you to really so most people hike up there and get a, a bit of a different view around the corner um, but like I said I don't think I'll have the time to get up there it looks like a bit of a scramble as well so unless I can find a, an easy route up I'll probably have to give it a miss but I'll see how I'll get on anyway um, picture wise just doing HDRs it's quite a well balanced scene so I probably won't use the HDRs I'll probably just use the centre um, frame from it uh, again, it's just to be on the safe side, really. That it's quite cloudy, it's not too bright up here, and um, there's not too much reflections off the glacier as well. It's quite black ice, so it uh, should come out quite quite well just on a normal frame. Um, yeah, awesome place. Uh, it only took about 20 minutes on the cable car to get up here, so it's, um, yeah, not far, not hard to get to, and um, yeah, great. I'd definitely recommend it. Right, I've got just about 10 minutes to get back to the... Um, the cable cart. I did get about halfway to the peak, but it was uh, the shot just wasn't there. I think it's only when you get right to the top you can uh, look right down, kind of on the corner a bit. But I got the drone up there anyway, so hopefully some of that will come out all right. We've actually got some really nice kind of light coming through the clouds over this way, but I can't do much of it just because uh, the way the glacier bends, it's uh, there's a lot of brown um, on this mountain side here which just doesn't look very nice. I'm going for a bit of a different composition to most, so I'm hit, hitting it square on at this um, kind of peak in the middle, the snow line between it and the valley. It looks really nice, and I'm just capturing a bit of the, the glacier in the, um, the foreground of the image, so hopefully you'll get the textures from the glacier and moving up to the kind of the brown mountain in the pass and then uh, kind of the valley of the snow in it. So I'm hoping it's going to come out and be a really unique image. I'm doing portrait in the moment. Quickly going to do a landscape shot um, just to try and get a bit more of the, the glacier in the long ways. And then I literally got to leg it back to the um, cable park because it's going in literally about 10 minutes time.
Right, I'm back on this um, same road I was on this morning and last night. Um, it takes me to where I'm going next, which is towards the um, Dolomites. Uh, there's a bridge there, Polti de Salty it's called, or Pondi de Salty. Um, that's what I'm going to look at tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try and get about halfway there. There's a free camping spot about an hour from here. So I'm going to head there and then I think the bridge is probably about an hour from there. Um, just driving along this pass, uh, I've jumped over this um, crash bar on this busy road. Um, just because you won't be able to see it at all on the, uh, the phone, I wouldn't have thought, but looking down the valley there, there's about three or four different ridges that the sun's hitting, and it's giving this kind of gradient effect going through them. So I'm just trying to pick uh, some of them out by um, doing some shots. I'm doing HDRs again with a filter just because it's, um, it's going to be quite difficult to get all the gradients in this scene and get everything to come out properly. So um, I've opened up the bracketing as well from... Um, two stops to three stops to make sure I get it all in there um, either side that is I might not need the HDR hopefully not it'll be more natural without them um, there's these trees here in the foreground as well which um, I've got in the scene I've taken more of a portrait shot because I think it looks better um, I can't seem to get the landscape to work as well so um, yeah most of the good lights gone now when I drove past earlier when I first got here it was um, a lot of um, kind of red light coming down there got a few pictures about 10 minutes ago so hopefully they'll come out okay um it's probably it for today now i'm going to head off to the camping spot it'll probably be dark by the time i got there so there'll be nothing to to look at and then tomorrow like i said i'll head off to the bridge mm -hmm. 